Hey guys, what's up? Pitmar Thor here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 8. In the last episode, we easily defeated Dry Bones at Shy Guys Perplex Express, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on Toadette at Koopa's Tycoon Town. <laughs> Crueler than pirates, scarier than ghosts. There's nothing scarier than ghosts, because ghosts are awesome. So yes, we'll be playing real estate. Dominate the town. This is a very strange one. In this duel, whichever of you gets the first four stars will win. Here's how you get them. When you pass the hotel, you can put coins into the place by giving cash to the Koopa Bellboy. Yay, I already get one! Whoever's got the most coins in there gets uh, to be the owner. The owner gets a star. And you can steal a hotel if you put in more coins. No! That was my hotel, which I didn't pay for! So, yeah, if you got more... Uh, if you put in more coins than somebody else has, you steal their hotel. And, if everybody's cash adds up to a certain amount, if there, basically if there's 20 coins in the hotel, it will upgrade to a two-star hotel. But only the owner gets the benefits of it. And if you get to 50 coins, you can make it a three-star hotel. And if you put in 100 coins in the hotel, you block the hotel, and you will keep the three stars for the rest of the game. There's no way you can lose them. So let's rock and roll. And once again, I'm going first. I've gone first every time except for once, I believe. And the nearest hotel is actually right there. Very simple. I like rolling a really low roll on this one so I can actually grab three coins and then put in 13. Because the CPU will almost always put in all their money, even if they can't steal the hotel from you, sometimes they will still put in all their money. Don't ask me why they do that, but they do. This is actually probably one of my least favorite boards. It's really strange to me. Please don't get it. No, dang it! Okay, I need to get a really good number right here. Or just put all my money in the hotel so she can't steal anything. Dude! What was that, man? What was that? What was that? You did that on purpose. I know you did. I'm going this way just so you won't follow me. Yeah, I lost that hotel right off the bat. Way to go. Now, there's only three hotels on the map, so at least one of them will be upgraded to a two-star hotel. This is not a board where all the players are going to have a lot of coins. Most of the time, you're not going to have over 20 coins. And there are actually a lot of really helpful, uh, not chance time spaces. What? No, not chance time. No, no chance time. Please, no. A lot of happening spaces on this board that are actually really helpful. Which, if we pass one of them, I'll explain what it does. Nah, that doesn't really benefit me much. <laughs> that would have been funny if I'd gotten run over. Hello. Sure, why not? Hopefully Toadette won't get 10 coins by the time she gets over here. So we're tied at one apiece. I usually like to work on getting... Uh, two of the hotels and making those two star hotels. And then I usually just let the CPU have one. Alright, this one right here. I'm just gonna make this car wait here. This one right here, you'll throw a dart at a dartboard, and if you manage to hit it, you get a lot of money. But it's like only a one space out of six you can actually get. Okay, so this way will be a versus, that way will be a challenge. Toadette has no money, to, doesn't she? Yeah. She don't got no money! So we're gonna take the challenge. Because the challenge will actually give me stuff. Winning three coins is not that big a deal, so. If I win, the least I can get is five. You know, that's aut automatically better. No! That was almost really easy. What the heck, man? Fine, it looks like I'm going to have to actually have to work for it. We've already seen the rules for Stampede. Shy guy. And there's no pattern to where the Bowsers are going to show up, just so you know. There's no pattern. It's not like every three. 
Gotcha! Yes. Five seconds left, which is actually quite a bit on this minigame. Rock and roll! You know I clobber that challenge, boy. Yeah, yeah, 20 coins. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Actually, he ordered me to put more salt in my diet, but... No, seriously, he did. Apparently, I need more salt in my diet, which, for me of all people, is the dumbest thing ever. It's like, I salt up my food to the point of where it's unhealthy already, but when they add me, ask me to put in more salt, I'm like, what? Are you crazy? Like, I want salt with my food, not food with my salt. Jeez. You can go ahead and put in three coins, see if I care. And she bought a vampire candy, I think, but if I can get to the hotel, I'm just gonna throw in all my money so she she can't have it. I've actually had a CPU give me the win before because I had three stars and they put in money in a hotel and didn't get the hotel. And then actually it changed it into a two-star hotel, and so I got a four-star and one. So they actually helped me win. Which was hilarious, but it was kind of sad at the same time. She tried to buy the hotel, which was hilariously unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. And we're going to steal her hotel, because we can. And I'm putting in all my money, because I know she's going to try to take it immediately, so... No point in keeping it. If I'm gonna lose all my money, I might as well get something out of it, you know? And now I only need one more star to win. Just like that. See, it seems like it wouldn't take that long, but stars can bounce around so easily in this level, that's why it can take a while sometimes. It just kinda depends on how lucky you get with, especially challenge minigames in the versus mode. Aw, oh, I could've gotten a versus space and stolen the only money she had. And then she probably would have stolen back the vampire candy, but at least it would have been out of my hair. And I think she just landed on a red space. She did. Nice. Very nice. And yeah, whenever you get three stars, we have this again. What turn are we even on? Five? And we already almost won? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Get him! 20 coins are a bit-sized candy. Hopefully she'll get nothing. Yeah, she did. The CPU is not having good luck with this dartboard, are they? I'm glad she didn't get either, though. It, it kind of depends on how lucky she'd get with a roll if the bit-sized candy was better. Because, you know, it's three coins for each one. So if she'd gotten an 8, 9, or 10, it would have been better, but she probably wouldn't have. So honestly, the 20 coins probably would have been better for her to get than the, uh bit size candy. But, you know, I'm not sure. For all we know, she could have rolled a 10, and then she would have gotten 30 coins out of it. And if she steals the four coins, I don't really care, because it's only four coins. Even if I invest in that hotel, I still don't have enough to get it to be a two-star hotel, so... Whatever. Go ahead and throw the coins in there though, just in case. Maybe the CP will be stupid and give me the win again. Three, fine, whatever. And yeah, even if you own the hotel, you can still add more coins into it. So that puts in a total of 17. So if I can get three more coins in there, it'll change to a two star hotel and I'll have the victory. I'm actually going to show this off because it's actually very difficult. Hit your face to get 10 coins. And now it can actually be worth more. But depending on how big the target is. Did I get it? Oh, you're kidding. I knew I aimed it too late. Oh, well. And yeah, it, see how it dropped another one in there? Whoever throws the next dart can win 20 coins, but the pitcher will be smaller. I don't know how much it can get up to. Usually people don't land on that space, and usually people don't try, don't try to land on it, because, you know, it's not a very good way to try to earn money, so... You can see why people wouldn't go for that. A 10, that's a good number. I'll take it. One coin, yeah! I just wanted to get away from Toadette because she had a bolo candy. Even if I didn't have a lot of money, I'd still rather, you know, keep it. Oh, I could actually win right here, too. Yeah, 
I could just put in one coin and get this, but I want to see if she's going to hand me this victory. If she does, this is going to be really funny. She is. She's going to hand over this victory. She handed the game to me. She handed the game to me. I didn't even have to win. She helped me win. She gave me another star and made me win. I am so glad we're recording this. She gave me that victory. I won on her turn. On her turn. Oh my gosh. This it has only been 10 freaking minutes. Oh no. Yeah. That is so stupid. I cannot believe that. That is so dumb. This is going to be the shortest recording I've ever made. Except for when, you know, we didn't have the unlimited time limit. Or I had to use the camera, so it was only like a, you know, it had to be a 11 minute video. But ever since that was gone, you know, oh my gosh. You're crazy, man. You are crazy. Well, I guess we won. And yeah, we get candy. And this. The Star Rod, which has nothing to do with Kirby whatsoever. Something interesting about Boo, uh, well maybe it's only King Boo and Bowser, but Boo and Bowser is, uh, Boo's voice is actually the same as Bowser's. They just changed the audio around a little bit and sped it up and made it a different pitch. So it's actually the same noise, it's just changed by the pitch. It's a higher pitch, obviously. And you can tell if you speed up, or if you change the pitch on Bowser's voice, or if you change it on Boo's and make it lower, you can actually tell that, that it's the same. Oh. Bowser's taking the star rod, and he stole the spotlight. It's the end of the world as we know it. We've been befouled by Bowser. He's walked all over us. Oh, the stink of defeat. Boy, we have you. Help us make things right. No! We're taking the star battle to the stars. What? And you know what? Since we're so... This video has been so ridiculously short, we're going to go ahead and do the stage right now.